Good afternoon, everybody out there, whether you're on Facebook Facebook or Twitch. I'm Vinny from Big Guys Gaming, and uh, today we're going to wrap up the week at uh, some Minecraft. How fun is that? I, I really love this game, you know? It, it was one of those things where I saw other people playing it, or I heard about it first, and it's like, I don't think I could get into that. It sounds like too much of a kid game, and... It really, it really has uh, evolved beyond that for me. Um, I like building. I like the mining. I like I like the exploring. It's just an all around good game, and it's it's really not uh, pushed to any narrative unless it's your own narrative. I mean, you can make your own narrative. So if you're on Facebook or you're on Twitch, you can chat with me. I have now the power of chat between both Facebook and Twitch. However, I would love it if you would come to Twitch, give us a follow. I'd like to get that follow count. And uh, if you can't sit here and, and watch me play for two hours, uh, but you still like to follow along with the series, you can always do that on our YouTube page at Big Guys DJ. Uh, and I upload all the streams to there. So let's get right into it. Let's get into it. So, and if you are watching, say hi. Hello. I'll say hi. Um, yesterday we were trying to get that bee into that uh, nest and it doesn't look like that bee is going to get in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna breed the bee with another bee and that baby bee should be attached to the nest. That's our hope. That's our fervent hope. Um, we also, oh, I don't want to open that. We also, um, we didn't build this yesterday, but um, what we did yesterday was we went to the nether. We actually moved our nether portal up to pretty high so we can start making our um, our nether highway, I should say. Uh, when we start actually finding things that are interesting, like villages, wouldn't it be nice to find a village? I don't think we we found the pillager, we found their hideout, but you know it's not like I want to have a portal to go to the pillagers and just hang out with them for tea. I don't want to do that. The other thing that I want to do, um, is you know what? First, I'm going to go to bed. That's the first thing. Before you can do anything, any hard work, you need to get some good sleep. And then light all the zombies on fire when you wake up. Yes. Oh, yeah. You think you could see me? Oh, you can't see me. You're down. Did I get you before? Heal over? Yeah, I did. But you guys. Nope, you're all healing. But I can take care of the spider. Yeah. Get them all. Get that sweet, sweet, sweet. Ooh. You dropped your pants. Dude, you dropped your pants. Um, Mr. Zombie, you you dropped your pants. Oh, you think you guys are sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I guess you are sneaky because uh I can't hit that. Throw that in there so I can grab your pants. I can disenchant. Apparently I just want to burn down my forest. All right, grab the pants. Got the pants. Grab the XP that's lying, sitting around over here. So that doesn't go away. Ding, ding, ding. And. Oh. Did I get it all? Yes, I did. All right. So I get so distracted in this game. I know it should be more focused. But I just, I have squirrel moments. I, I won't miss you now. There we go. And there was another one, wasn't there? I swear there was another one. Oh, 
for no reason a mare. Apparently you are gone. Hmm. I don't know what to do. All right. So apparently we have an escaped skeleton. Maybe he stepped out for a quick bite and turned out to be a quick light. <laughs> All right. Um. So, uh, he should breed bees. And I'm going to do that by grabbing these flowers. Oh, I can't. Um, I can do that. All right, so grab these flowers and uh, dudes, where'd you go? Uh, we're going to breed our bees. We get a baby bee. So maybe that bee will live in that nest that we made. Yes, that's our plan. And then it will keep our uh, crops over there grown. Um, so some of the other things that I want to do is I want to uh, move my spruce trees over to the other side and actually make a, a tree farm. So I have my birch in a row. I have my oak in a row. I have my dark oak in a row. And I have my spruce in a row. Um, all the important trees. The other two trees, we're not going to talk about. The jungle, the, uh, the acacia, no. Don't care. Those are my main trees. All right, so we're gonna do that in preparation for building a wall. We're gonna build a wall. I don't know if we're gonna build the wall today, but we're gonna at least map it out. And I'd like the wall to kind of include uh, my house, the stables, and the nether portal. And come kind of all around. We don't necessarily need it to uh, to encase that because we do have a separate entrance into getting into our map chambers. So we do have that. Um, but otherwise, I'd like to kind of build, start at least building the formation of the foundation of the wall. Ah, come on, B. We're going to coax this B. No, 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 no. Come back here. No, 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 I know, I know she's cute, but, uh, he's cute too. I don't know what your gender is. Yes, a baby bee. There you go, little baby bee. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. So tiny. Little stinger. Look at that little stinger. Aww. Now, hopefully, that bee, where, where are you going, little bee? What the heck are you doing? Oh, yeah, great. Pollinate, no, come over here. Where are you going? Seriously? The hell? Yes. Come back here. Come back here. Yeah, pollinate all that. What what is this like? You know, this one this parent only gets visitations on the weekends or something. Oh, 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 it went in. It went in. So that other bee went back to its original home. And uh you're you're still a prisoner here. But you can't. But this little bee. Yes. All right. Okay. You know, it's a good thing that the fire underneath it is not going to cook the bee because um, that, I, at least I don't think that's a thing. Um, little bee. Little bee. Um. 
we cook our little bee. I um I there there's nothing to see here. No. No. Nothing to see here. Come on, little bee. Do it for me. Do it for me, little bee. Pop out. I do not know the, the bee cycle. I do not know what this, um, you know, how long they stay in, when they come out. You know, how do they decide to come in and out? I don't know what their cycle is, so. But I just, I just got to know he's okay. I just got to know the bee's okay. Come on, little baby bee. You know what? I, I, right now, while, while you're in there, I'm going to harvest this. I'm going to harvest this, and I hope you come out. Okay. We did not cook our bee. I don't know what cooked bee tastes like. I don't know if people actually do cook bees and eat them. I mean, I know you cook ants and crickets. You can make food out of that, but I don't know what the deal is with bees. No, I, and, and I do know that if you eat a bee, it's not like you get honey. That's, who would think that? clear up some of my inventory here so I don't have so much stuff going on put this there and I'm gonna put that. hmm oh I'm gonna disenchant these pants so I can get that sweet sweet levels from them. oh that was good get up now, I don't need leather pants because I got diamond underwear, so I'm good. I'm going to toss that. I didn't get rid of all the... I got gravel that I don't need to carry because I don't do anything with gravel. I mean, you can make, I think, concrete using gravel, but concrete always seems like a pain in the butt to me. It really does. It seems like a huge pain in the butt. All right, toss that. So here is, uh, what I'm gonna do. It's dark already. Well, messed with that bee all night. He's probably asleep now. You get to stay outside. You're a troublemaker. I am looking forward to the weekend. How about you? Been kind of a long week been kind of a long week all right so uh, we need to make our need to make our 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 tree farm and the tree farm <sighs> i don't know where that came from someone out there must have yawned that's what i'm gonna blame someone out there yawned and i it's catching so I um I'm going to build this tree farm and it doesn't have to be within the walls cuz um it doesn't it really doesn't but I can't have all these seems like I'm segregating based on color and I'm not trying to do that so don't read too much into it people I know someone out there is going to read too much into it because it's the internet it always happens. Somebody reads too much into it. I'm building a tree farm. It's only about trees. 
So let's just keep it at that. So, um, these pawns are lovely, but they got to go. And I think before they go, I'm going to take this sand. I'm going to take the sand, this sand, not the underwater sand, just the surface sand. All right, I'm going to do that. And um, I should go back and get, go back and get some dirt. So if you started, if you saw that I started the stream and then stopped it, right as I was starting the stream, not only did I put the wrong titles in because, you know, I just had to check that my mic was on because, you know, it's me. I can do a whole stream without my mic on. That's some talent right there. All right, I'm going to grab a bunch of dirt. And I'm going to grab some grass blocks too, just so I have it. Um, and um, I'm going to fill in some of this water. And I think I want to keep everything a nice even. So I probably should start from back here. Keep everything even. I should have grabbed all the glass. Glass. Yeah. Oh, tongue. It is time for the weekend. I am telling you. All right. Oh, what is with yawning? Holy cow. I think I'll keep all these flowers a i can put them over with my bees or i can make dye with them you know you can make dye with flowers true i can make red dye with red flowers i watched this these parody Sesame Street parody things. I am so out of touch. I, I just have not watched Sesame Street since I was a kid because I'm an adult and I don't have any kids right now that watch Sesame Street. I mean, I watched some of the stuff my daughter did while she was growing up, but yeah. So I was watching these Sesame Street parody things and put the red cookies in the red jar and pick, put the green cookies in the green jar. It was Furry Potter. Like furry par Potter in the Chamber of Cookies. And it was obviously Cookie Monster. And they did a parody of Stranger Things called Sharing Things. I mean, I don't know why you're doing a parody of Stranger Things since this is targeted to younger kids. They shouldn't be watching Stranger Things. I mean, I'm not telling you how to parent, but... Uh, Kids don't need to see everything. As much as kids want to see it, you know, once you see stuff like, once you see more adult stuff, it changes how you perceive the world and you lose some of that innocence. All I'm saying is, as a kid, if you're a kid out there listening, don't try to grow up too fast. Because while it looks pretty cool to be an adult and be able to do things when you want to do it, which, yeah, it does have its merits, but there's a lot of things that your parents do for you that you never have to worry about. 
like shopping for food. How many of anybody out there likes to go shopping for food? I personally don't. That's why I hire people to do it for me, you know, like Hannaford to go. You know, I order it from online and somebody else shops for me. Because that reduces my impulse buy for one thing. And then I can stick to kind of a list. Because I can never go shopping when I'm hungry because I will buy things more than I, I, I should. And then if I don't, if I go when I'm not hungry, I don't buy things. So make a list. And then there's this thing called rent. Meaning you're paying somebody else to live where you are. Welcome to Filling in Holes with your host, Penny. We're trying to make a flat area here. I don't know how... I don't know how far it should extend. Um, I guess what we could do is kind of start it from here. So maybe we don't have to uh, destroy those. We'll just destroy these. I yawned so much I cried. Such a sad yawn. Sorry to see all this grass here. Just chopping down. You know, who, who shovels that way anyway? I mean, when I'm shoveling, on the few occasions where I shovel, I don't sit there and and... Throw out my, yeah, that, that doesn't, that doesn't work for me. So we gotta fill in this uh fill in this water. And we're gonna start moving our trees too. So I kinda wanna make the trees that I'm gonna are more prone to closer, uh or it, you know, line wise closer, probably more in the middle. Is we're all prepping to build our our wall around our our area, so we keep um, our area well lit, so we could work during the night if we wanted to outside. Right now, it's a little too dangerous. I mean, let's be honest; it's really not that dangerous. Um, but I just don't want to spend the whole night shooting at targets. Like I will be if I don't get back inside. All right. We're going to go back inside. Probably should go down and just grab the rest of my uh, dirt and whatnot. Grab it all. That's why when you first start out, save your dirt because eventually you're going to terraform. You're going to want to make look things look nice. So you're going to need your dirt. 
And always know where your, your towel is at, too. And if you're looking at me strange, talking about a towel. Well, some of you may know. And for everybody who knows that, kudos to you. Arthur Dent would be proud. But I guess we can get rid of the ghost grass here. All right, and now we fill this in. I should also probably look up um, trees and their how far they have to be from things to grow. Because obviously generated trees, you know, the world generates and trees that I grow, you know, they react differently. I guess I didn't finish chopping this tree down. It's a magic tree. Look at that. It's being held up by nothing. Look at this is my magic trick. I'm going to pass a, a, a wand through it. Like, ooh. Ooh. See, nothing there. I am a lightning fast grass plant. I'm just going to finish these two. I'm not going to waste all my uh, grass blocks, but I can just do this. Because by the time I am done, uh, it should be all filled. Just filling it in. Flower. In my day job, I do, um, I'm a web developer and I maintain people's sites and I have a client they're trying to save money. And I, I get it, especially during this time, they're a nonprofit. They're not fundraising right now. Um, but they're going to pretty much eliminate all my services and manage their website themselves. And, um, they're going to find out that. Managing a website, if you're doing it properly, is some work and it takes some time and you can't just let it sit there and do nothing or you're going to have problems. You don't keep up to date on the, uh, on the updates, you're going to have problems. So we'll see, uh, 
how long it will take before they decide wow he was doing quite a bit they probably would just let it sit there and not do anything with it so when they do need it it's not going to be available for them it's going to be going to have problems it's like anything it's like it's like your car you know your car probably can run for a while without doing its maintenance and stuff like that but eventually it's just going to stop working and you could have prolonged things um or things would be cheaper if you had maintained it all along and websites are the same thing and you know companies like wix and squarespace and stuff like that they make this illusion to people that you know it's easy you know you can make a website yeah you can but not everybody should because they have no talent for it. Like if you if you're doing a job and you provide a service to somebody, um, and then you, you hear that other people are are DIYing it, you know, going on YouTube and looking up videos, and, and we all do. I am out of dirt. Um. So we all kind of do that. We don't always call, you know, a professional to do a lot of things. And then a lot of times we screw it up and then we have to call them and it costs us more. But if you own a company and you can't see the value in your web guy, then how do you justify it when somebody else doesn't see the value in what you do? You know? All right, so I think that we can take. They don't seem to be growing. And so now I need to trap down these trees. And it'll serve as a double purpose. A, we need to collect wood. And B, we need to move these trees. Don't give me a heart attack, man. The thing I want to do is have a heart attack on stream. I don't know how far back it should go, but I'm clear. A little bit of deforestation right now but it's okay it's minecraft minecraft it takes a lot less time for trees to grow once i plant i should clear this area out so i don't have any surprises so it's not things can sneak up on me I haven't decided how far back I want it. Get dark again. So we probably have to take this inside. Oh, look at you. 
I don't think you're anything right here. No. Nope. But you are way for us to achieve bountifulness of vermin. Hey, vermin. Vermin. Zombies and skeletons. Imagine if spiders were as big as they are in Minecraft in real life. Holy cow. I mean, also imagine if they were as clunky as the ones in Minecraft, but still. All these I want it very distinct where the tree farm is, where it begins, where it ends. So it's not like is it tree part of the farm or is this tree part of the farm? I want to know exactly. Chopping down trees. Want me to go that way? I don't understand what you're saying. Are you in Nevada? I don't know. This is going to take a few, a few bit of work here. We want this to look nice. I mean, that's the whole thing of Minecraft. You're trying to make things look nice. I mean, not really the whole thing, but. But that's how a lot of people play Minecraft. They make things look nice. Some people have some amazing talent. And I just want to let all of you know out there who have an amazing talent for building that I'm in complete awe of you because this is not, it's not my forte. I, um, I don't think in those terms. I mean, I can follow the instructions. but I'm, I'm not much of a designer. That's okay, we're getting all this wood because we're going to need it for our wall. I found a... Oh. I found a tutorial uh, of uh, pretty much a wall that I really liked. So we're going to give that a try. We have an apple. I take this pen, this apple, an apple pen. <laughs> and how did that make it to the Billboard Hot 100? Are we that needy for entertainment that we pass that as entertainment? But it's not like the first song out there that is like,
I mean, you look at a lot of the 80s stuff, and it's like, what the heck were people thinking? But, I mean, it's great stuff. We still like it. But it, but it's really one of those things where it's like, what? I think I'm going to have to go up. Ladder, please. It's like an elevator. There's bits and pieces of wood everywhere in this tree. This is like a weird tree with just pieces everywhere. This tree, I think. If I'm making weird faces, I'm trying not to yawn on stream. I'm really trying not to. I am so glad the weekend's here. I love doing this. I really do. Um, And I could do this for more than when I do. I mean, I only do it a couple hours a day, but I can only do it during this time during the day. Keep everything on the same level. I will tell you that coming up, um, I believe it's the last week of June. Confirm this. Uh, look at my camera. Yeah, so June 29th through July 3rd, I will be taking that week off from streaming. Um, there will still be YouTube videos out there. So that will still be uploaded on a regular basis. Um, I probably will do some episodes of what would normally be my stream, I will do them offline and I'm going to pre record those ahead of time. Not that anything on the YouTube is not pre recorded, obviously. Um, but uh, my other half is on vacation, he's going to be home, and um, so I'm not going to be 
sitting here streaming while she's home on vacation. Not gonna happen. That we continue to have a girl by sometimes making some compromises like But like I said, I will still be putting out videos. Um you you'll you'll see video I mean th those videos will be done next week that will be on. So if you're not watching this live on the stream, um there shouldn't be other interruptions cuz I will be recording some separate videos um that will be going up the week after the stream. So for you YouTube anybody watching this on YouTube, you're not going to notice a difference. If you like watching these streams live, um, you will notice a difference because that won't be here. I still will probably be doing my night shows. So big guys banter, um, game show night and, uh, and, uh, trivia. Probably still will be doing those, but I'm not 100%. I might take the entire week off completely. So, that may be a thing I might do. I need to talk that over with my partner here, which I keep talking about that he's going to be putting content up. So, as far as I know, he's still working on content. He's just... He's got busy doing other things. He doesn't have the luxury to work from home like I do. I mean, let's be honest. This uh, this whole shutdown wasn't a huge blow to my. I mean, so we do we do DJ. So weddings got canceled. So there's that, and I feel bad for all the brides out there that were going to get married this year, and they had to either postpone it or you know, or, you know, go with it, but do it as a kind of like a virtual thing. I mean, not really a rememberable. I mean, it's going to be a rememberable, but I'm going to sneeze bad here. Hold on. It's such a powerful thing, a sneeze. Oh. I just took a, kind of woke me up a bit, but all right. Uh. Hmm. Probably also record some more uh, Minecraft dungeons. I have one in the can that I haven't finished editing. Do that. I'm always worried that uh, I'm going to sneeze and my contacts will just pop right out. And those are a pain in the butt to find. Holy cow. I have had my contacts pop out before. Um, actually, right here at my desk. 
and it was sitting on my shirt and I didn't notice it. So I'm sitting there looking around and I have, I eventually brush it off and I'm like, oh my God, it was right there that entire time. And of course now it's brushed off on the shag carpeting. All right. Now just for these things. Stuff out of my inventory. All right, now I gotta go get my rooster. How much of that tree is there? Hope I get a few saplings out of it. Go see if I have any saplings. Start off with. I have at least one. And while those are decaying, I am going to look up on uh, the World Wide Web. And Minecraft farm. Like that sounds like something I want. All right. Time efficient farm working on oak and birch which mostly we're doing. I need to know how how far I need to keep things. Um four blocks is it warning aside from saplings no blocks less than two blocks away from the sapling even towards at any height up to the the tree up huge tree trunk is two by two okay so I guess I do do four. So I will keep four blocks between each of my, ah, look at that. Look at all the presents you got. Thank you for my presents. Need any more? 
So I gotta keep every block away from it. Between two blocks, so. So. There. One. You get the idea. Hmm. I gotta have four blocks between them, right? Jeez. A toad. One, two, three, four, plant. All right. What's on the fifth one? I It's getting dark. But I'm starting my, my tree farm here. It's going to be Vinny's Christmas tree farm. But I'll also have oak and fir. Dark oak. And I think maybe I should do two rows of trees. What do you think? Rows? Any more get dropped over here? Yeah, I think maybe two rows. And then um, while we harvest one row, you know, we leave the second row up and then we'll be able to harvest that one. And, you know, I don't know if they count the grass blocks as a block. But I won't take any chances. All right, so those are our two rows of um, spruce tree. Um, and then I'll do two rows of oak, dark oak.
high as we're going to go or need to go. Totally missed that. I wasn't paying attention. I'm uh, zoning out due to chopping down trees. Putting me in a France-like state. Get my chats up here. Says, Vinny, wake up! Otherwise, uh, <laughs> I'll have to change the tile from Minecraft on stream to snoozing on stream. I wonder if that's a thing. No, you just ever watch someone sleep? That would creep me out. I do not like uh, people around me when I. Because you're so vulnerable, you know? And if you're a sound sleeper, nothing. Could ha uh, something could happen, you'd never know it. So no, I don't like to be that vulnerable around people. Oh, we're already starting to get spruce. Hope that. I hope that does. Good room. I'm rescuing the flower. Right. Oh, we got a couple more. Well, we got one more. Hiding. All right, I can probably put down some dark oak now. We'll do two. There, there, Great. second row here. I think someone's clapping for. Yay, Vinny, yay. <laughs> All right, second row coming up.
in and up and it does. Good on me. I can catch. Oh, where am I going? All right. Um... I said, I don't know if this works. I need to um, clear out uh, some of the brass blocks for this to work, but I'm going to anyway. Now we got a more guard. Make sure it's nice and keep for that uh, homeowners association. Don't want the pillagers coming over and saying, hey, you, you need to mow your grass. All right, so we got some spruce growing. Now we just laid down all our uh, dark oak. And now I'm going to lay down some oak. I think because oak is the way oak is, I'm going to make uh, four rows of oak. Oh. Apparently, the Homeowners Association decided to come over anyway and tell me to mow my lawn. Get off my lawn! There's one more. There's one more. Guy with the banner. Where'd he go? Where'd the banner guy go? Oh, banner guy. I want to put another banner on my wall. Wonder what he went around back to cut up, cut me off, but sure enough, we talk about the homeowners association and who shows up, but the homeowners association. All right, I know there's one more guy around here somewhere. He's got the banner. Where did he go? Um, where did he go for the love of I don't know. Apparently, I was too intimidating for him. I, I don't know where he went. All right. As I was saying, I'm going to make four rows of this.
the four rows of the oak because I use the oak the most. This is the fun part. You know, I could do the whole Bob Ross. Plants are happy little trees. You know, not one space. Not two. Three, four. And on the fifth one, we're going to... There with all his friends. They're going to have a fit. Community. Fruits are just growing. They're vibrant. Is the dark oak not going to grow? Let's see what it says about dark oak. Um, dark oak grow extremely quickly, usually within a few minutes. Dark oak have an average yield of their, okay, um, require four saplings to plant. Uh, that's why. Okay. Oh, oak's growing. When, um, if they require four saplings to plant, I might need to rethink this. That means we need to expand this further. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Why well, it's good to read the instructions, right? All right, so if four, so. Oh, I need another sapling. Do I have any more saplings of dark oak? That is a good question. Sapling there. Did I manage to get any in Perch. Help. Help? No. More bird. All right. So we're just going to have to wait. 
one of those grow and then uh we'll have to wait on that farm but it says uh, the advantage of that they grow quickly so so these should grow quickly right Yeah, okay. Um Oh. <laughs> Go. Now that that grew over is that going to prevent one that will prevent need to chop this tree. we can get some more saplings and this dark oak side now the um the garden that we have i mean it's really just for show at this point. we don't actually need to grow I guess it doesn't. Okay, so good. But the wood, the tree farm, this is actually more beneficial. Great, so that grew. Oh, and they kind of grew into each other. Will I get, um, I'm hoping to get some oak sap. That one. I'm hoping to get more than what I ha needed. So I need four to start another one, but I need more to start building my, my spruce is pretty much grown. So let's get the, uh, the oak. What am I doing? I was having like Tourette's there. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five. So. Well, this nighttime is just really interfering. This is why we're building a wall so I can continue to do this stuff. Now the wall that I'm looking at, it's a, it's a nice build, but it doesn't really have a door to prevent things from coming in. So we're going to have to modify, um, a door type setting. Right, so if we can get at least two more out of this, um, that would be helpful. We need at least two more. that no more of those trees have grown but an oak tree has already grown gone yeah my my, my oak trees are gone they're gone you know 
Grand big. Grand grand big big. Ah, uh, two more grew. Good, perfect. Perfect. So the idea is if I can get an extra one each one, I can start building. And eventually I'll have a surplus. So these are growing. Awesome. I think I have to trim this tree down. Okay. No dark oaks are growing again. Preventing them from growing. Um, and I might need to expand my. Because uh, I think we're only going to do two rows of the birch. Because the birch is not as important as the. All right, so that is all of our not growing. I want trim this back. Do that well. All right, now we do some birch. Again, we'll only do two. Yeah, we're going to need um, this a bit.
think we're good now, but I just want to make. My dark oak's growing. I thought it would grow quicker than that. And it seems like the same one. Nope, it's a different one. So it is so it is growing. Alright. I guess I just made the trees. I gotta give them time. So. Put together our happy little trees here. Okay, you can make these trees. That was a mistake. Now we're just going to come up two by two. You know, within Zark, make those animals and they brought them up two by two. Unicorn. Okay, he forgot those unicorns. Horse with horn on. And that's all the birch I have right now. Actually, I have some more. Shouse. That magical place I live in, a shouse. That's kelp. And is uh, that's what I want. That again. All right, so we got our tree farm going on. We got oaks growing, we got dark oaks growing, and uh, we got spruce all but growing. Look at that, all the spruce. Actually, has some one more sapling. There we go. That's not a spruce. All right. All right. Stay on 
Fire. My cactus. On fire. All right, so I expect there's going to be some things hiding in the tree for tree farm here. You're not really hiding in it, not really hiding at all, kind of lingering. All right, so I guess I'm just got to bring down this dark oak. Try to get more get further along. I need more saplings so I can uh, And we're building a tree farm. It looks like Monday we might start on our wall. And I might do some work on things uh, this week. Looks like we're getting a uh, Kinds of growth with our with our saplings here. Take this sap. Put it right here. Because that's the next place. I thought it said that these these grow quicker. They don't seem to grow much quicker than anything else. Oh, <laughs> the way it fell, it was like, whoa. Yields a lot of tr a lot of wood though. Gotta hand it to dark oak. I have not any room for whoa <laughs> whoa I just like dodged a tree growing yikes that was uh that was a little intense there man all this stuff And I'm already halfway on another one, too. So. Oh. I had more than I thought I did. Or I just picked up one. Um, and it still has, has more to drop. Come on, drop me some saplings, you beautiful tree. Some saplings. 
Okay. I shouldn't try to sing. Go back to my Bob Ross. Is this a CNN? Call it a trimming. Bonsaiing, but dealing with a bonsai. The order. That. Do that. Do that very stream of consciousness you know when you're when you're doing it you know it's just like whatever comes into your head you just say which is not really a problem for me considering that most of the time i say whatever comes in my head right uh -oh. Um, I need more saplings. Is before I can finish this one, I have to finish. Thank you to the grace of the gods. Uh, 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 not look like right. You know, you don't, you can't really puppet master. Come on, oh, all the way up there. Mine. It's all mine. This will help. Yeah, well. Trimming at it though. I have enough for another row. Another row. Look at that. Oh, why have you grown? Look at these massive trees. They're such. This is kind of why I don't want to do the jungle trees because those jungle trees are way more massive. Right, cutting those down. I don't have flight. I have fall, but no flight. I'm sitting again.
Yeah. We have an, almost enough for another uh, another tree to grow. Of course, oh, you know what else we could do? I mean, we haven't used any of this stuff before. We've been making bone meal all this time and not really using it. Oh, the bees are helping this stuff grow fast. And it has been so got some bone meal here. That there. All right. So what I could do This one looks like it. Yep, there, we gave it some help. There. <laughs> Dark forest. See if copying this down will get saplings got a stick oh, i got a sapling i get another row out of it i need a total of eight One, two. Boop. Oh, that one took a little. All right, so let me try to fill in some of these. Whoa. <laughs> I got short. That's how we help our tree farmer along, ladies and gentlemen. We've been making this for so long, we haven't used it for anything. Uh, we're out. Bummer. Bummer. But that is a tree farm. I probably will go in creative, take a better shot. So, there we go. Our tree farm. We got our birch. We got our lovely little birches here. We got our oaks. We got four rows of them. And we got our dark oaks. And then we got our spruces. So, we got all the trees we need for most of our builds. And um, keep generating more bone meal. Um, our next big project is going to be fencing off this area. And I said that um, that the tree farm might not be in, but it might be. It's going to be a big wall. We've got a lot of area to cover. And then... Um, we got to consider what we're going to do with the water over here. Uh, is it going to be included? Are we going to do this all the way around here? So, I mean, are we going to make it a massive wall? 
So that is something to consider. I mean, we very well could make it a massive wall and really encompass, but it's going to take a while to build. So, I mean, we could do a smaller wall or we could just go, go big or go home. You know what they say? Go big or go home. But if we do it that big, then this gets included. And then we have to do some terraforming around here. So, um, and then come around here. Here. So either we flatten everything out so it's even, or we do this thing where it goes across the, I, I kind of want to flatten everything out and make it even, so. That's kind of what I'm looking at. All of them. I wonder if I can put tree sapling. Let's find out. Apparently so. Well, that's going to be handy because I got a lot of saplings. Look at that. That is so awesome. Uh oh, got a bunch of stuff left in there. Just making, making our uh, compost, doing our help for the environment. You know, considering all the bad things we do for this environment, like strip mining and deforestation, tying bees to a post. We, we, we do a lot of bad things for the environment. Good thing there's no terrible repercussions in this game. But remember, this is only a real game. It does not mimic real life. If it did, the days wouldn't be as short. Is that going? I thought I saw some in Don't worry. Okay. All right. Well, I think that is going to do it for this afternoon and this week. You know, I just want to say, I want to say to everybody out there that, that does watch, I appreciate, I really do appreciate it. I know I'm, I'm a small drop in the bucket uh, of a larger pond. There's a lot of, there's a lot of content out there, especially now where a lot more people are indoors and they're not, they're not out doing stuff. Um, there are more people making content than ever before. And so the, to see that there's somebody viewing uh, what I'm doing, I really do appreciate that. And I, and I hope you know that I'm, I'm sincerely saying that I really do appreciate you taking a, a time to watch. And even if you're on the streams, to join me live. And um, you don't have to talk. Um, I, I do enough talking for both people. So, uh, but I appreciate you coming along for this journey. And if you want to see yesterday's video or on the YouTubes, you can click up at the top on the video up in the top right hand corner up there. That is yesterday's video. Down below that is the playlist where all these videos sit. And uh, we are, I'm not sure what number this is, but we are past 14, I know that. Actually, we're, we're past 20 by this point. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's right below me, subscribe to that. Why don't you come on Twitch sometime? Check us out live, throw us a follow there. We'd love a follow. I am still working my way up to 50 followers on Twitch. We're getting there, getting there slowly, but we're still getting there. And every one of you that has followed us on Twitch, 
you're a big part of it. You're helping us out, and we appreciate it so much. So until Monday, I want everyone out there to have a good weekend. Please do. Please have a good weekend, and I'll see you again on Monday.